what's the name of this? Uh, hold on, give me a minute. The Grinch, Grinch is the cat in the hat. Such a strange name. Why don't you just call it the Grinch versus the hat, cat in the hat? Wouldn't that make more sense? But whatever. It's a decent uh, short. I, I think I like this more than the Halloween one because... Well, it's as simple as this short is is more sincere and it's just kind of cool. There was a TV version of the Cat in the Hat. I haven't seen that one. I know there's one of the Lorex too. I should probably I want to get around to watching all those at one point uh, or one at one once I get a chance to. I think they were on Blu-ray, but they're out of print now. I'm sure they'll be re-released or something. Um, but it's just kind of cool to have the Grinch and the Cat in the Hat kind of randomly show up together in a short it is kind of weird but i feel like the grinch is more an agent of chaos than the cat in the hat which is weird because cat in the hat is always the agent of chaos you know he is in his story and in his special you know because it's basically the same as the book i from what i understand but it is just his madness that makes the story happen um so it's just kind of weird that you have the special where the Grinch is more the agent of chaos. And it is it's pretty cool and fun to watch. And I really like that. Um, but also, it gets. I think this one goes on a little too long. He starts messing with everybody and he just goes crazy. And it's got some cool visuals, but it just goes on and on and on and on. And I don't like the, I, that. The pacing on these two shorts is not very good. The other one had better pacing, but, I, but in terms of what this one is actually saying and what it's actually doing, it's a lot better. And the song at the end and him just crying is just a beautiful moment. And I think it's a really well done scene. I think it's beautifully animated, incredibly well done. And I really love that part. And I think overall, that's what makes this the better short is the ending alone. And I think this is... I think the Christmas one is always the best, but if you ever want to see the others and you haven't bought The Grinch before or you or you have the original Blu-ray and you never and you didn't know what the upgrade point to the newer Blu-ray would be, it's that it has these specials on it which you could not get before. And so now it's here on Blu-ray. Um, so you know, you can order it or look at it or you know, purchase it, whatever. It's like and you know just see them for yourself, you know, because don't listen to people on the internet, okay? They could be wrong, unless, you know, you, you know, I, I don't always want to say never do that, because, you know, there are a lot of critics that um, I listen to, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see this movie, I can tell from what you're saying, but I usually end up do watching, I, I usually end up watching the video, the, the movie anyways, because you know what, even though I find a lot of critics I agree with, and I enjoy watching, and I do enjoy their content, it is, you know, there's always that one time where I disagree with them or something. So I always tend to go out and enjoy the movie, watch the movie for myself. But, you know, there's some times where you're just like, okay, well, this is what I thought it was going to be. You're restating what I thought it was going to be. And so that just doesn't, you know, I feel like I don't have to watch this movie, right? So, you know, that happens. I've seen that before. But I just... You know, I usually end up watching the film, though. But I think this is a really nice set. I wish they'd advertise this better as the Grinch Complete Collection or something, not just, the, you know, a reprint of the already classic uh, Grinch Christmas special that had already been out, you know. It'd been nice, but they didn't put it that way. They also have it very awkward on the Blu-ray. Um, so it's... I thought the shorts were going to be in special features. You don't go into special features and find them. You go into episodes episodes because which 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 i was thinking oh that's just gonna be scene so i clicked on it no they're all three of them are there and so it's like oh that's kind of weird but you know it's like at least they're there and so there's play and so if you click play it's just gonna play the christmas one if you go into episodes you can select which one you want to watch which is very awkward and strange it's a very weird menu I, like I said, I kind of wish they had marked this better and put it out better, but, like, because what they could have done, instead of just putting the freaking DVD in here, is they could have, 
had this for the Christmas special and its bonus features and then put the other Grinch specials here, they'd market it better. But it, it's decent for what we got. I love this slip cover too. It's all the nice green and stuff. I love that slip cover. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on it. Have you seen these before? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Which Grinch special is your favorite? Which uh, version of the Grinch is your favorite? The Illumination one, Jim Carrey one. It's always going to be the original because that's just Dr. Seuss's vision. And I respect his vision so much that I can't really go with any other version. Um, I love Dr. Seuss so much so that let me pull this out here. I have his freaking Dr. Seuss pop. And he's holding the Cat in the Hat book. If you can kind of see it, kind of can't on camera very well. Maybe I right, turn on the lighting here. But look at that. He's holding that little book. So I think that's freaking cool. And I love this pop. You know, he's one of those pops that if I had like a job, an office job or something, I'd just sit him on my desk at work or something because he's just so freaking cool and random, right? But it's just freaking awesome. And so I love Dr. Seuss and his work. I respect everything the man has done from literature, and I love his writing and his art. And so, yeah, I'll always go with the original Grinch special. Comment down below. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that. Peace out.